So what's your first memory about the Beatles? First memory? Uh, about a single Beatle is, is Imagine. I think Imagine was re-released when I was uh, very young and it's my mum's favourite song. Mm. So uh, I remember her kind of you know, buying it and talking about John Lennon. So. I just remember my dad playing the music. Also, we always used to listen to music in the car. I went to a school that was really far away and we'd do these long trips and he'd like educate me on music, his favorite music, and the, Be the Beatles was a part of that. And hey Jude, he played. If, if you could uh, remove from people's mind one popular character, any character, and make it yours, which one would you choose? A popular character. A character. Who would I become? Audrey Hepburn. <laughs> Gosh, that's so tough. Well, Marilyn Monroe <laughs> would, wouldn't want her ending, actually. No. <laughs> uh, Paul McCartney, I'm going to say, just because... Is know. he your favourite over John Lennon, or can you not choose? No, no, I can't choose. I'm just yeah. saying, you know, again, it's for the same reason that you yeah, can't right, pick Marilyn yeah. Monroe. Yeah. And um, as actors, um, do you relate with... Um, to Jack and his pressure to succeed and yeah yeah to, to some degree yeah I mean from the agency side I mean they're not bad, as bad as Kate McKinnon no. but I do think there's a pressure sometimes that once you start they say these things like momentum you've got to keep going <laughs> and that you can't get off the, the track or you're gonna fail and die and it's like yeah, yeah. so but it's I think Jack is kind of not prepared for it and he, he's he's taken on this really wild ride by you know, by an agent who's not quite as nice as my agents. And, yeah, um, my agents are great. <laughs> yeah, and um, and so he kind of gets swept up by it. But I think you know, um, if one can keep a healthy balance between professional and personal, then you'll be fine. And yesterday has this romantic in the movie vibe, like *Ruby Sparks* or *500 Days of Summer*. Mm. Did you take any inspiration from any other movie or any other on-screen couple? I love those two movies yeah. you mentioned. Both of those are great. Yeah. yeah. Um, and by the way, um, no, not really. Mm, it's kind of all there on the page. Well, sunshine really. of the eternal sunshine of spotless yeah, mind. Yeah, there's a bit of that going on. There's like loads of stuff going on, but not really. Nothing specific kind of came to mind. I think. Yeah. It, was it would be hard to base it on another sort of yeah. on-screen dynamic because mm. you have to sort of create your own vibe and energy. But and it was so vivid on the page, wasn't mm, it? Mm. And what would you say to a young audience that is not that familiar to the Beatles to watch yesterday? Ed Sheeran's in the movie. <laughs> uh, so come on. <laughs> and it's an, it celebrates music. Whatever music you're into, it celebrates it. And it celebrates crea creativity and love and friendship. And, you know, it's a pretty dramatic, exciting story as well. You know, it goes pretty, it's pretty <laughs> hardcore. Yeah, it? yeah. And it's, you know, it's, it's a celebration of, of all the things that are good about people and art. So I think it's anyone can appreciate that. Amazing release and sort of cathartic experience to take you away from the world right now, you know, mm. which is why I love cinema. Yeah. And well, how was working with Ed Sheeran? Because he is, is like his first long role. So how was it for you? Yeah, great. I mean, he's so f fun to work with, you know, he was he had a really great sense of humor. Um, he was really relaxed uh, when rehearsing and, and on set. Um, you know, he knows Richard already. Danny created a wonderful atmosphere for him to kind of enter into, and he doesn't come with any, you know, airs or graces in that sense. I mean, he's he's just like any other actor would have been. And how was working with Danny? Which one is of Danny's films is your your favorite? Oh, it's tough to pick. I cannot answer that question. Um, really. Um, so many amazing movies he's I made. It's and we were talking about 27 Hours the other day, and that is like yeah. that, that how he creates tension and is like unbelievable. And for one person stuck under a rock, I mean, it's like with his arm under a rock, I mean, it's yeah. insane. It's and like I loved that. I loved that the titles for 127 Hours only came up like after the rock, like so, like you're watching it, and then suddenly now the time. Oh, I know, so I know, good. That little detail about that. Movie. So in the cinema, I was like. Yeah, I know, yeah. <laughs> okay.